This is day one of shelter in place here in New York. And I figured since we're doing shelter in place here now, I'd show you guys how to make Dalgona coffee because it's the drink to make if you're you're following shelter in place. This drink is going crazy on TikTok, crazy on the internet. Seems like everybody who is social distancing themselves is just drinking Dalgona coffee. So I figured I'd show you how to make a keto Dalgona coffee since uh, the original version is definitely not keto. It's made with sugar, but making it keto is very, very easy. Basically, all you're gonna need is some confectioner swerve, some instant espresso or coffee, the milk of your choice. Today I'm going with unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You'll also need some hot water, which will heat up, whoa, will heat up the water in this pot in a second, and then just a cup of ice. That's all we're gonna need to make it, so let's get going and make some keto Delgona coffee. So first thing we wanna do is heat up our water. So while our water is warming up, we're gonna add five tablespoons of confectioner swerve to medium-sized bowl, it's about 45 grams of swerve. Then we're also gonna add two tablespoons, about 14 grams of instant espresso to that bowl as well. By the way, the original recipe, it's equal parts water, instant espresso, and sugar. It's two tablespoons a piece, but it does not work. I've tried this already. It does not work equal parts with swerve. So make sure that you're adding the five tablespoons of confectioner swerve when you do this, because if you don't, your coffee's just never gonna get thick enough uh, because you don't have enough swerve in your bowl. So make sure you follow my directions uh, for this recipe. Okay, so the next step, it's pretty much the hardest step of this whole process. That's gonna be adding two tablespoons of the hot water to our medium-sized bowl, and then whisking that until a thick mousse type of consistency starts to form in the bowl. This is gonna take four, five, six minutes to happen. It's like, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of, of whisks to get this to turn into a mousse. Your shoulder's gonna start hurting. You might start sweating a little bit, but that's how you know you're doing it right is you get a little shoulder pain and a little sweat going on, a little workout. We're all stuck in our homes anyway, so we might as well get a little workout in while we're making our coffee. But that being said, once the mousse does develop in the bowl, that's when we're gonna get a glass out, fill it with some ice, add the milk of our choice to the glass, about half full, and then we're gonna top that with that thick coffee mousse that we made just a minute ago. Now, what I will say is that's the time to take your photo for Instagram, for TikTok, for the internet itself, and show everybody how you're quarantined and coffeeing. Uh, but you wanna drink this totally mixed together. You don't wanna drink them separate. You don't wanna try to eat the mousse by itself because it's very dark, very rich and bold in coffee flavor. It's not very sweet. But for whatever reason, once you mix that with the milk, it's absolutely delicious. It's like a South Korean version of a Cuban coffee. That's the best I can explain it. Also, the caffeine buzz is about on par with a Cuban coffee because there's a lot of caffeine in this Dalgona coffee. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the Keto Dalgona coffee. Stay safe, stay inside, don't touch your face, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.